All right, here we are, part four. I don't know how many parts this is going to have. But we've got the overlay installed on the control panel. And there it is. It's looking really nice. I'm very impressed. And these curves here, um, yeah, worked out just fine. And it's a pretty heavy material. Um, they advertise it, you know, it's a 3M type material. Um, goes on really good. Uh, I did not film it because it's highly stressful and something always goes wrong. And of course it did. So the, uh, the tip I have for you is when you're peeling back the sticky layer, you know, this that goes across the whole back of this thing, when you're peeling that back, make sure that when you cut it off, you use kindergarten scissors. No, seriously, something sharp. Um, don't tear it. Make sure you cut it and cut it as straight across as you can. Uh, don't just tear it off because it leaves a, a, a ragged edge that wants to go ahead and stick to the overlay. Uh, it starts to create what we in the business like to call a huge pain in the ass. So don't do that. Other than that, um, everything went really cool. So, and you know, uh, this is a deal where you can order it the exact length and width that you want it from uh, Game On Graphics, and uh, they did a great job. You see we have just a little teeny bit of overhang here on the side, okay? We're gonna use, again, use something sharp, don't half-ass it. We got in one of these bad man pajamas at the Dollar General, and we're gonna use it. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I'll be right back. Okay, we exactoed that bad boy nice and flush. So what you do after that is you just kind of make sure that edge is nice and stuck. And that's going to work out just fine. You can see how this side looks really good too. <clears throat> All right. Now for one of the funnest parts, is cutting out the holes for all the buttons and joysticks. Again, you want to use a razor blade. The sharper, the better. If you try to do it with something else, the chances of you tearing it and making it, uh, maggoting, maggoting it up is high. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut the buttonholes out. I'll be right back and show you. And here we are, all ready. After all that time, finally have the control panel looking like a control panel again. Mm, I'm really excited. Looking really nice. <clears throat> now we're going to put the buttons and the joysticks in it, and we'll have a look at that. Well, and just a few minutes later, uh, everything just went on perfectly. No problems. Um, she's ready to go. Now, here's a little something I just noticed. I just literally just noticed this. These two buttons here on the player one side are a little bit closer together than the two buttons on the player two side. Because originally, you know, of course these buttons some of, the, some of these holes weren't here originally. It was probably, well, I think this, this was actually where the original joystick went. That was a hole for the original joystick, and then they added this button. Um, and it would have had, I don't remember how Pengo was set up. It, it did have a button over here someplace, but anyway, you know, it's a, it's a minor, I mean, you know. I just noticed it, <laughs> but uh, I think it look, I think it looks sharp. It's gonna be sweet. And I think this overlay was a really good call. I think it uh, turned out really good. So here's the uh, let me show you the underside here. That's what it looks like. Get it set up here. There we go. And. Uh, we are going to make a wiring harness for it. 
and uh, we did put the brand new C clips on these when we put the joysticks back in. Put the brand new C clips on, so everything's ship shape. I got those babies ready to go, and uh, you can see how our patch job way back when how well that actually works. And uh, you know, looking on it now from the outside, that's the end result, and that is why we spent all that time and effort and hate and consternation doing that. Um, tedious and kind of a, just a big fat pain in the tail, but that's why we do it, because it turns out like this, and you know, this game will live another 30, 40 years, and uh, it'll be really super killer, so that's why we do it. It's all about the game, people. Mate, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Meat likes to come and visit sometimes. Arcade Lewis, uh, I don't even know where Arcade Lewis is right now. He's, he's doing something. So there it is, people. We're going to make us a wiring harness for it, and uh, we'll have it ready to go, and then we'll uh, get started on the cabinet. Later. All right, well, we got one side uh, <clears throat> wired up with the ground wire. The first thing you want to do is run a ground wire and the ground wire has to be hooked to everything <clears throat> so if you haven't done it before it seems really really confusing but it's really really simple so in this case i'm using the blue wire because that's what i had you know but it doesn't matter what color you use but my ground wire in this is going to be a blue wire so like i've just done the one side here and i just run the blue wire to each terminal okay each terminal has at least two connectors now like <clears throat> these terminals have three as you see there um the bottom one's the ground and i've got the meter hooked up here so the way this is set up so it can be on all the time so if i touch this one here now if i push the button it'll actually stop all right, so this button right here, this connector, let's see if I can get it to kind of hang in there and show you. See if I can reach underneath here and touch it with my. Now, when I touch the button, okay, it's making the connection. So when we hook up this button, we hook it up to this terminal, and when you push the button, it turns the button on and sends the signal to the CPU to tell the game what to do. That's that's the simple part of it. Um, sometimes it's confusing when you've got more than, you know, like this one has three terminals, but you can always just check and see which one does what, so. But the bottom one's the ground, so. This one here, same type of thing. Push this right here. Reach around here, hang on now. See if I can do it. Oh, yes. Okay, push the button. Whammo! Fire button, baby. She works. Sweet. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to wire up the other side the same exact way, and we'll hook everything right here, and then the ground wire that goes into the wiring harness will all just come out right here. Okay, everything will just end up right here. It'll terminate here. I'll show you when we're done. Boom, and just like that, we've got the whole control panel wired with the ground. That blue wire is the ground wire, and that's connected to everything, as you can see. All it's connected. Both sides, and there's a couple ways to do this. You can start on one side and run everything this way, and then run everything off of one terminal. But what I did is I ran everything to the middle. So I did one side, ran it to the middle, did this side, ran it to the middle. It doesn't matter as long as they're all connected. So here's the <clears throat> terminating ground wire right here. So this will actually go into our connector. So eventually it's gonna end up in something like this, okay? With all the other wires. So each, each wire, you know, you'll have your up, down, right, left, whatever start buttons 
So what we're gonna have is we're gonna end up having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 more wires, one for each individual control. So that's how it's gonna go. Uh, sometimes what you have to do is you have to end up using two connectors. If you don't have one that's got an one like that's a that's a nine pin, that ain't gonna do it. Um, those are 12 pin connectors there. That ain't gonna do it. Because we need eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we might end up having to use a couple of different connectors. And if we do, that's, uh, that's okay. That ain't that big a deal. Or we can, uh, you know, get a, I think it's a 16 pin connector for next size up. I got anything in here. And yeah, probably not. I might have something in here. <laughs> yeah, we got connectors, people. We got connectors because we're not playing. So, yeah. But, you know, that ain't no big deal. We can use two different connectors for it if we need to. So, well, that's it. And I actually soldered each one of these instead of uh, using the connectors. I did use a connector on this one um, just because it ended up with, you know, there's three wires that terminate. And it was just, I don't know, it just looked, I, I soldered it first. It just looked like crap. So, I thought, eh, I'm just going to put it in the connector. And I put the connector on there. I'm going to put a little solder on the connector, too, so it's not going to ever get loose or anything. Uh, these are handy dandy, you know, and a lot of people just use these and I've got I, I've done that before um, I don't know. I mean they just slide on you know, so they do come loose um, So if you solder them You know like all these are soldered, you know, it, it's you know, and I'm not the world's greatest solder by any means, but That one looks kind of like crap. I might have to redo that one but uh everything's working so so there it is so all we got to do is put the rest of the control wires on and uh we're not going to do that right at this moment but we'll do that very soon and you'll be there when it happens so super deluxe catch you later